I'll turn now to Malcolm Davis in Adelaide, Australia. He's a senior analyst of defense strategy and capability at the Australian Strategic Policy Institute. Thanks so much for being here with us. So we, we heard there from, from Becky about Israel's response so far. So I want to ask you, where is this going? For Israel, what's their goal here? Well, their goal has to be to defeat, decisively defeat uh, Hamas in um, Gaza. Uh, and to rescue and free as many as possible of the hostages that the Hamas people have, have grabbed. Um, at the same time, they have to recognize that it's not going to be easy. Um, the Gaza operational environment is incredibly uh, dense and urban uh, and essentially would be house to house, street to street fighting. Uh, so uh, the Israeli Defense Forces have their work cut out for them in this regard, but I don't see any alternative for the Israelis other than going into Gaza and decisively defeating Hamas and essentially destroying them. Yeah, you, you talked about rescuing hostages. Uh, we know the, the Israeli special forces have huge capabilities, but we heard from a, uh, a former CIA official that said essentially they won't be able to, to rescue them safely. Um, do, do you share that view or do you think that they, they can actually ex extract them? We might get a few, but unfortunately, I think the CIA um, person and I uh, listened to his comments earlier. Mm -hmm. I think he's correct. Um, yeah. You know, I think that uh, probably what has happened is those uh, hostages have now been spread throughout Gaza as far away from Israeli lines of advance as possible. And so it's going to be you know, very difficult to get to those people to identify where they are and then rescue them, uh, sadly. You, you talk about Gaza being this hugely densely populated area, two million people more, uh, just a nightmare from a military point of view. How does the Israeli military go in there and w without inflicting huge civilian casualties? Well, you know, urban ground warfare is the, the toughest warfare you can possibly imagine because of those reasons. Uh, it's, you know, narrow streets, uh, com uh, confusing uh, layout of streets, civilians mixed in with combatants. Uh, the buildings are such that it's ideal for you know, a defense in depth by Hamas. So what the IDF have to do is basically go house to house and clean out Hamas from each individual building uh, along the line of advance into Gaza. And there's only, looking at the map earlier, there's only a few lines of advance into Gaza from Israel proper. So it's gonna be an incredibly tough uh, operation. Obviously, it would be supported from the air, but then the Israelis have to take all necessary precautions to avoid civilian casualties, unlike Hamas, who really don't care about uh, avoiding civilian casualties. Yeah, exactly. So I think that it's, it's a challenge there. Yeah, and, and Hamas, obviously, they knew what the, the military consequences of this would be. How prepared are they, do you think? Uh, what, what do you think their capabilities are? Um, do we even know, given the, the, the scope of the operation that we just saw took almost everyone by surprise? I think that's a good point. I mean, sort of uh, the Israeli intelligence has clearly failed abysmally to identify um, the preparations for this attack. So do we understand exactly what Hamas have got? Uh, maybe you know, countries like Iran have provided them with additional capabilities that the Israelis don't know about. So I think that uh, it is a challenge uh, to a degree. They're going in blind. I mean, they have technological means that can help them identify targets and potentially uh, get an insight into what, their what the enemy's capabilities are. But it's a much more opaque uh, and complex battle space the Israelis are going into than you know, armored warfare on the Golan Heights, for example. Yeah, and finally, we heard there from Becky, uh, you know, mortars, uh, attacks uh, fired from uh, from Hezbollah. What do you think the likelihood is that uh, this could spiral into a wider regional war? Well, I hate to say it, but I think the likelihood is quite high. We're already seeing attacks from Hezbollah across the border into northern Israel. Uh, I think that there's every indication that Hezbollah does intend to enter the war properly once the IDF goes into the West, into uh, Gaza. So you could see, ironically, a three-front war with the Israelis fighting in the south in Gaza, uh, fighting Hezbollah uh, in the north, and potentially um, Palestinian forces in the West Bank. And Hezbollah uh, has large numbers of surface-to-surface -surface missiles that are very advanced, far more advanced than what Hamas have got. 
uh, and they could do serious damage and inflict serious casualties on the Israeli people. And the other dimension that we need to be aware of is, of course, the Iranian dimension, because Iran supports both Hamas and Hezbollah. And so the potential for this war to go beyond Hezbollah to include Iran, I think, is quite real, real. 